Welcome back to our next video tutorial on lists in Python. In our first video, uh, we just created a list for the first time, and I've still got that on my screen here. We've created a shopping list with three items inside of it. Uh, we also had a look at how we can display the items in the shopping list onto the screen. Okay, what we're going to do in this video now is we're going to have a look at how we can add items to that shopping list. All right, so we've got the list on the screen. What we need to do next is we need to ask the user what they would like to add in to their shopping list. So we need to come up with a variable name first. So I might write item. And we're going to set that equal to. We're going to ask the user, enter the item you would like to add to the shopping list. Oops, put a colon at the end, a space, quotation marks and a bracket to finish off. So when the user enters in the item they'd like to add to the shopping list, it will be stored inside this variable here called item. Then on our next line of code, we're going to actually take that item that's stored in the variable and add it to this list. So it's quite easy. All we need to do is we need to write shopping underscore list. So we're now accessing this list up the top here. So shopping underscore list, I'm going to write dot append. That means we're going to add something else to this list. So we're going to go to the end of it and just add a new item. And in brackets, you tell the computer what item you would like to add to the list. So in this case, we're just going to write in the variable item. Okay, so it goes back to what the user typed in here and was stored in this item variable and adds it to the end of our list. Okay, now we just need to print our shopping list out again. So print, and I'll just write shopping underscore list. It is going to display it the ugly way with all the brackets and quotation marks still in it, but that's okay. We'll get the idea of how it's working. So let's run it. Now it's asking us the question, what item would you like to add to the shopping list? Let's add chocolate. Press enter. So now I've got apples, bananas, carrots, and chocolate on our shopping list. Okay, that's working well. Now the other thing that you would like, we most commonly do with a shopping list, is remove items from the shopping list. Okay, and it's done in a fairly similar way. So we leave the shopping list up here as it is. Okay, and this time we're going to create a new variable called item, and it's going to be equal to input. This time we're going to enter the item you would like to remove from the shopping list. Okay. Uh, now this time, instead of shopping list dot append, we're actually going to use the word remove, and then we're going to print the shopping list again. So it's not much different to what we just had written. Okay, all we changed was just what we asked the user. We asked them what they'd like to remove from the shopping list, and then we're accessing the shopping list up here again. And this time, we're removing whatever item they typed in, and then we just print the shopping list for them again. Okay, so we'll save what we got there. Now remember our shopping list is just back to these three items. So let's remove carrots from our shopping list. Okay, so we write carrots, press enter, and you can see now our shopping list is down to just apples and bananas. All right, so we'll save that as well. One last thing I'll show you in this video before I move on to the next one is how to clear the shopping list completely. So if we want to remove everything from the shopping list, how do we go about doing that? Well, I'm going to remove those three lines of code we've just added in this um, lesson. And I'm going to add some new code. I'm going to write in the variable shopping list again. So I'm accessing this list up the top here. And I'm just going to write dot clear bracket bracket. So it runs a function that will clear the shopping list. Okay, and if we just print it out again, so print and in brackets write the shopping list variable name. Save it and run it. And you can see we've just got bracket bracket there now, which means we've got a completely empty empty list. We've cleared it completely. All right, that's all I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, I'm going to come back in one final video that shows you how to count how many items are in the list. So we're going to find the length of the list. And we're also going to have a look at if we can, uh, we're going to check on items in the list. So we're going to run an if statement to find out if there's actually something in the list or if we still need to add it in. Alright, so I'll stop that code and I'll catch you in the next video.